In this tutorial, we'll take another look at the power and control provided by Bibble 5's selective editing tools. Let's take a look at this shot. This was shot in the early evening, and uh, you can see there's a nice color to the sky, but the foreground that takes that same cool blue color is a little muddy and a little distracting, so it takes away from the overall image and the quality of the picture. If we correct it with the white balance, just like that, it does a good job giving us a nice neutral white balance in the bottom, but we lose the character of the sky, which was a key part of this image. So I'll put this back on uh, as shot, and let's make a new version, and put both of these on the screen at the same time, like that. So we'll see the before, and then the one we're working on over here on the right. So let's take a look at some of Bibble 5's selective editing tools to see how we can improve this shot without losing the character of the sky. I'll open up the Layers tool and make a new polygon rectangular region down here, just like this. Okay, easy enough. Now I'll take my white balance dropper and click on that same point I did in the earlier example, but you can see only the area inside that rectangle gets adjusted. I maintain the nice beautiful sky that we had, but I get a nice crisp clear color in the bottom of the image. It's also a little bit dark, so why don't we add a little fill light. Just like that. And you can see I, I missed with my rectangle. If I turn my polygon tool back on, you can see I didn't quite get it over here. So with my cursor inside the region, I'll just scroll up with the scroll wheel a little bit and grow that polygon and have it fit in there just like that. So it's that easy. We've taken a shot that looked like this with a nice sky but overall very distracting, very cool and muddy, not a lot of detail down in the bottom. Created a very simple region around in the bottom of our image, gave it a new white balance, added a little fill light, and got great results really, really fast. Now, if we zoom in a little, we can see that our polygon, let me open up the Layers tool again, and select that region, that uh, that region just missed the very top of these stairs here. So what I'll do is select my paintbrush and I'll just paint over those stairs just like that and it adds it to our region. Do a little bit more get nice precise control just like that and that's how easy it is to add other portions of your image to an existing layer which will take the same settings, the white balance and the fill light that we added to the rest of the region. That's how easy it is to use Bibble 5 selective editing tools. Just select the portion of your image you'd like to adjust using the polygon, rectangles, or curves, circles, or the paintbrush, or any combination of those tools, and then just apply the settings you want. White balance, fill light, exposure, sharpening. You get very, very precise control very, very quickly. Well, that's it for this video. Stay tuned for another very soon.